Lucas Media. So there's been a lot of uh, controversy going on right now between Amazon, TNT, and the NBA. I know the NBA got a mega, what, $77 billion deal going out between different platforms with NBC and Amazon and so on and so forth. Well, TNT was supposed to get the, the rights to match Amazon's offer. So TNT says that they matched Amazon's offer for the NBA, and the NBA turned it down. Now, this is wild because now TNT's throwing out the idea that they might end up taking the NBA to court over this. TNT put out in a statement on uh, Instagram, we have matched Amazon's offer as we have contractual rights to do so and do not believe the NBA can reject it. In doing so, they are rejecting the many fans who have continued to show their unwavering support for our best in-class coverage delivered through the full combined research of WBD's first video distribution platforms, including TNT, home to our four-decade partnership with the league, and so on and so forth. As y'all can see in the image. Now look, a lot of people are sad because Inside the NBA might be over. It's been a classic show. i I've been watching the show ever since I was little. <laughs> I think it came out right around the time I was born. But I mean, let's be honest, man. Amazon has a bigger platform than TNT. I'm sure there's a couple million people that watch TNT, but you got to have cable for all of that and, or YouTube TV or Hulu. Well, Amazon, honestly, the only thing that you need is the Amazon app. More than likely with Amazon Prime, like how they have a deal with the NBA for a couple of billy, right? So it's easier. You can pull it up on your tablet. You can pull it up on your phone. You can pull it up on your computer. You can pull it up on the TV instantly. And I believe there's at least 200 million people with Prime or around that around that number. So they're trying to get it out to bigger audiences, potentially globally. And while inside the NBA might be coming to an end, and it's unfortunate, and I believe I wouldn't be surprised if Ernie Johnson's retire. All good things, all good things come to an end. And I was thinking this too, as well. What really was on TNT other than in the NBA and WCW back in the day? Y'all remember when WCW was on TNT? They had Eric Bischoff and, you know, Hulk Hogan was on there with NWO. What else has TNT had? Wasn't Walker, Texas Ranger on there or something? I know Hogan had a pilot show on there, but... I don't really know people to watch TNT like that. Amazon has the NFL on Thursdays. Y'all know how, how much people love football. PBC, boxing is now trying to have a partnership with Amazon. Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis signed a multi-year deal with Amazon. That's where the money is at. That's where the further reach is at. So I'm not surprised that the NBA is trying to change the way that people can view their games. Just like with YouTube TV. You see, when they came out now, Xfinity, them, those companies are starting to slide because you, you're not just stuck to one device. And while you can have TNT on an app, I'm sure it's not as user-friendly. And again, we're talking about Amazon Prime. You know, you know, you know, if you, you know how much stuff is ordered on there, so it's, it's already included. So I don't know. We'll see if they go to legal court and who knows what the court to do. I won't be surprised if they make the NBA give some type of payout or maybe the NBA will decide to stay with TNT. I mean, it would be nice to watch Ernie and, and Chuck and Charles and Kenny, but hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Amazon will offer them a check that they can't refuse if they want to mold there or it would be time for some bigger talent. But yeah, honestly, outside the NBA, I do not be watching TNT. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.